Let's look at this Alvarez White Eagle banjo. If you like these videos, go ahead and click your subscribe button. And uh, we'll first start out by playing this. Uh, it's a very nice uh, Japanese banjo. Uh, vintage banjo from the 70s. Here we go. banjo um, once again made in the 70s maybe up to the 80s uh, it's Japanese very very high quality if this uh, banjo is made in America we're talking minimum five to six thousand dollars okay so here's a chance to own a just a really extraordinary instrument uh, it happens to be chrome plated which people like because it doesn't uh, show tarnish or anything uh, let's look up the neck and we'll see it's a rosewood neck and has these uh, engraved inlays and once again you just won't find this in uh, newer banjos because people that have the skill to do this uh, have retired I mean, and new people have not taken it up look at that look at that inlay I'm gonna flip the banjo over and you can see even the keys are kind of fancy if you do a close-up there See how they have the little uh, knobs you can turn. You don't have to have a screwdriver or anything. And let's come back down the neck of the banjo and you'll see some carving um, right here. Here we go. You'll also notice a multi-piece neck. Okay. This actually gives the neck more strength. And uh, I guess that, okay, so that's it for that. But let's look at the inside. This has a very unique... Uh, uh, well, look, oh, we didn't look at the resonator. Look at that thing. So we're using the highest quality of materials. And then the fact that it's old, let's say, if it was in the 70s, we're talking, you know, 45 years old. So it, that wood, first of all, the wood back then was a lot better. You could get uh, select wood easier. Uh, the forests have been used up so some of this wood you can't even find um, and then of course the, you have the craftsman uh, a, uh, aspect and then you have the fact that it's been aging for 45 or more years and here we go and there's the so it's a raised head tone ring but it's got a thick shell which goes with raised heads and it's all look at how that tone ring is set it's a special design 
It really sounds great. In fact, I don't know if this is okay, but the, what the banjo player that plays with the Oak Ridge Boys came and bought one of these, and he dearly loves it. So uh, we've only had, this is only maybe the third one that we've ever had. And once again, looking in the, uh, inside the, uh, the pot, you see they have really nice thick coordinator rods with lots of adjustment. Ah, and I don't think we, did we see that little engraved piece? I mean, this is just a work of art. Um, you know, I talked to guys that really are into this banjo thing, and they have five banjos, ten banjos, and people come over to their house, and man, this is not only does this give you a unique, a unique sound, but uh, if you're showing this to your friends, it's just cool. That's it. Now, if you want more pictures of this, just go to banjowarehouse.com, banjowarehouse.com. If you want to talk to someone, call Andy at 404-372-5482. And um, if you want to come and visit us and, and do all these banjos, and this, as I say, represents about maybe 10 or 12% of all the banjos we have. So if you really want to see banjos and compare different kinds, this is the place to come. Give us a day's notice because uh, we might be out looking for banjos. And that's, that's it. So you guys have a great day and we'll talk to you later.